Hey, what's up guys? Ray Alejandro Santino over here today bringing you a brand new video. I wasn't able to record any video because I ran out of membership, so I wasn't able to play the Hunter Classic in about a week or so, but right now I am back and I want to tell you that today we are going to become a professional dog hunter. I am going to start this video showing you all where is my dog setup in Rugaru Bayou. I love that spot just by the fact that if you want to save a tent you just have to put your setup right there and walk like 100 or 200 meters from the lodge and you are in your dog hunting setup. And now I am going to give you the best 5 tips you have to learn or you have to follow in order to improve your skills when it comes to dog hunting and I'm pretty sure it's gonna help you a lot get more dogs than before so after this being said let's get right into it with the first tip look for an open place where you're actually able to see everything around you and to see where the dogs are coming from that is going to help you a lot with your shooting the second tip guys is to never shoot a dog flying against you that's one of the biggest mistakes you could ever do if you're dog hunting sometimes we are using the short range collar and we like waste more time than we need it and probably the dog already ran past you and you decide to take a shot while he's like flying away that's a big mistake it's better to try to hit the short range caller one more time so that they can fly towards you and you can take a shot a really important thing about this is that once you fire the first shot the dogs are going to start flying in the same direction they are looking at so my biggest advice about this is try to take a shot when the dogs are flying in front of you Well, the third tip guys is actually aim and take the shot when the dogs are in range. You don't necessarily have to be aiming like one minute before the dogs get in range. It's 100% better to aim and take the shot when the dogs are already close enough to you, making the things easier. It's really difficult to follow and lead the dog for a long time on the air you're probably going to run out of mouse pad or something like that so my recommendation is as simple as that take the shot when you're ready raise your weapon aim and take the shot no more and i also guarantee you 100 percent that you're going to have more accuracy applying this technique as you guys are probably watching right now it does work for me and really well Tip number four guys is actually when do you have to raise your weapon and take the shot? What is the exact time you have to take the shot? There is actually a thing that I would like to emphasize and is that the closer the dogs are the more difficult it's going to be for you to hit them. If they are really close the ammo is not going to spread enough so it's going to be like a slug. I hope you know what I mean. You don't want the dogs to be too close to you so that you are able to take more than one dog at the same time in case they are flying together. The perfect timing to take a shot is right before they get above you. This way you have more chances of taking a follow up shot to a different dog. I am going to repeat that one more time, you have to shoot the dogs when they are in front of you but not above you because remember what I said before if the dogs are already flying against you it's 100% better to hit one more time the short range caller rather than taking that shot just because you are going to end up spooking them all and you definitely don't want that to happen and as the last tip of the video we have tip number 5 but not less important as a matter of fact I do think this is the most important one, in my opinion, and is 
when do you have to hit the short range color? Well, the short range color is going to define whether or not you kill more dogs in your hunt. If you use it correctly, you are almost always going to shoot a group of dogs, which is going to allow you kill more than one dog on the group on your first shot. Another really important thing I would like to emphasize is that you don't necessarily have to hit the short range color immediately after the dogs break the group. That is a really, really big mistake and I've actually seen so many people do that and of course they end up killing one or two dogs from a big group of six or seven dogs that broke. How do you avoid that? Well, it's really easy. You just have to wait for the perfect time. You have to keep the short range color right before they turn around. That way you're going to make them come to you as a whole group and of course you have more chances of killing them all. As you're probably going to watch in the clip, I am using the 10 gauge, which is absolutely a beast of a weapon. Definitely, I'm pretty sure is the best shotgun right now on the Hornet Classic. You should consider buying the 10 gauge. It's a lot of fun, it's really fast, and as I said, it's the best shotgun on the Hornet Classic right now. Well, going back to what I was saying, if you hit the short range color immediately after they break, they are gonna fly right towards you, but at a really high distance that you actually can take some shots and can take some of them down but you are not going to have the same success so my recommendation is don't desperate take your time let them go down a little bit and then before they turn around hit the short range color what you want every single time the dogs break is single group coming straight towards you and well, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the different types of colors. We have the Malwar color that actually does work for the Godwell and American Black Dog too. It has the same effect. We have the Paintail color that only works for Paintail as the name says. So it has no sense to call a group of Paintail with a Mala color just because you don't have any chances of attraction right there. So make sure you use the right color. As well, I would like to clarify that the short range color works for every single species of dogs except for Gutwall, which has their own short range color. And the last color is the combat color that works for every single species to except for pintail. And well, after this being said, I do hope you all learn a lot with this video. This is a video I have been planning on doing for a long time. Leave me in the comments if you want me to make another video about this hunting. You can also use these tips and these tricks, for example, geese hunting. Well, with anything else to say thank you very much for watching i do appreciate every one of you don't forget to check out my friend t hammer he's streaming every single night a hundred classic take it easy i love you all and i will see you guys in the next adventure bye bye and have a beautiful day